Today, guys, in War and Order, we are going to go over the Crown War that just happened in 1416. And so I wanted to go over some of the points. If you guys have never played the game and you're new to the game and you'd like to know more about um, what happens during the Crown War in the middle, uh, then this is the video for you. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, let's play the video. So I had uh, recorded some footage or whatever. Um, our crown war in 1416 started, and uh, we didn't have too many opponents, but we had some opponents that showed up to it. Um, a lot of people ported around it. Um, one of them was an ally, and the other one, uh, you know, took a couple towers. But the objective of this is is you have the crown, which is the middle of the temple uh, area, uh, and then you have uh, the guard towers, which are around it. And the guard towers give so many points. Um, as you can see right here, there's eight of them. They give you five points per minute. And then if you take the middle, the royal city, you get 15 points per minute. So ideally, if you can hold down three of these... Uh, these guard towers and the royal city, you're definitely going to be good. And the name of the game in this is to have the highest rally. Uh, so the rally size is how many people can garrison or, or, or defend one of these things. So like if let's say uh, you have uh, one of the big guys in your group and he has a 1 million rally, right? He can enter into um, the royal city and he can... Everybody can, you know, join in and he can fill up one million people in there or soldiers or whatever. Uh, and then what happens is, is he can pull out the person in there with the next biggest rally will will have the size, but the people will not leave. So it'll look like it's kind of like over garrisoned or it's it's over uh, reinforced. Um, and then he can go to the next tower, the guard tower reinforce that one and then people can fill it up and so forth and so on so the person with the biggest rally needs to be in there first people can come and flock into it um and you know garrison it up and then once they've they've reinforced that uh then they can uh, uh pull back out and, and go to the next one that would be my biggest hint for you guys so here we're going to go ahead and speed up and take the middle as fast as we can because we definitely want that one. That one's 15 points. And then we want at least three of these towers. Now the reason, even though we didn't have like crazy competition, but the reason that we don't want to take all of them is because some of our allies and some other people, if they hold some of the uh, the guard towers, then what happens is when the first phase is over, they get rewards or whatever based off of that. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. So um, the Crown War is after, you know, um, so many days that your realm has been active or whatever. I believe it's like 40-something days. Um, and afterwards, you have a Crown War, which will be able to get a king, king's pack, uh, special buffs, titles, and stuff like that. It is divided into two phases. So phase one is three hours long. Um and takes place in the center of the map, as you see. Uh, and then phase two is after you've gained enough points, like the person who gains the most points, they take home the crown. And whenever they take it home, it goes to your alliance uh, castle base. And you guys have to reinforce that and you have to hold it because somebody can wait till this is all over with and speed in and attack your alliance castle and if it's too strong they'll take the crown back to theirs and the clock resets so there has been many times in realms where you have you know heavy fighting that you know the crown could be st stolen two or three times you know before it finally you know <laughs> people don't <laughs> i guess lose enough troops or whatever but you know that people finally give up and and somebody wins the crown now most of all the battles um, that you see taking place inside of the crown usually has like a 50-50 split. So like, you know, half of them are wounded and half of them are, are uh, killed or whatever. So that that's typically what I see a lot in this game, or at least it was in this time. Um, 
and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, simply enough, you know, it's just a very long, drawn out, you know, event uh, for <laughs> pretty much titles or whatever. So you can see right here we have 791 of a million. And then over here, he's not in there. So that one only has 760. Uh, but we go ahead and reinforce it. And then, you know, there's a little bit of a battle going on. So let's go ahead and uh, check that out. Let's speed up the, the tape. So right here is when uh, one of our allies, Sin, uh, you know, LNS tried to uh, take the uh, tower or whatever. And uh, yeah, it didn't work out for him too well. Uh, I believe it, it, at one point it was just a single person in there that was fighting. And uh, yeah, it didn't it didn't matter how many people they sped in there. It just was like a meat grinder and uh, chewed them up or whatever. They had some pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy battles. But let's speed this up a little bit more. Because I had just quite a bit of footage going on. Speed, speed. So as you can see right here, already the points were way ahead because we just have uh, three or four in, in the middle. Are we going to get some action? I don't believe so. Nope. But... I did want to just uh, do a quick video on the crown um, to, you know, show you guys what it kind of looks like, what you can do. Mainly you want to, you know, teleport in close, get as many of the towers as you can, ideally three, right? And then really concentrate on the center. If you can get three and you can get the center, you guys are good. You'll pretty much win that, but you have to keep it. So a lot of people will not even fight in the first phase and just steal the crown uh, with a big boom stealing that. So... The second phase is where it's at. First phase kind of gives you the rewards. If you're not worried about the rewards, then you could steal the crown on the second phase. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, guys. Peace.